After visiting many coastal and redwood campgrounds in Northern California, Oregon, and Washington, we wanted to see Vancouver Island in Canada. Our travel plan was to journey in our Toyota Sienna Hybrid, set up for camping, and camp at two sites on our way to and in Canada. After driving about 450 miles the first day, we arrived at Alsea Falls Campground in Oregon. This was our first visit to this campground. After setting up our clam shelter, we took a short local hike to see Alsea Falls, a nice attraction after a long day of driving. Returning to the campsite, we found a notice that the water system at the campground was out of order, and as a result, the facilities were not functional. Luckily, we always carry five gallons of drinking water and have our own portable toilet. However, we needed water for washing dishes. Since a flowing creek was nearby, we fetched a couple of pails of water to boil and use it for cleaning dishes. The temperature was perfect that afternoon. We enjoyed the rest of the day and even did a yoga practice in the privacy of our campground. The next day, we explored what else has this location had to offer and were delighted to find hiking and mountain biking trails less than a mile from the campground. The mountain bike trail system in this park was well designed and we were eager to explore it. There was only one person getting ready for the ride on the parking lot, so we decided to hike some trails on foot without interfering with cyclists. The bike trails intersected with the hiking trails, and we spent a couple of hours exploring. A set of little elf figures was placed along the trails to cheer up the bypassers. The elves were cute and probably were placed there by regularly visiting bikers. Have a good day, Doc. Yes, have a great ride. After a sound night's sleep in our van, we headed to Quinault Lake on the Olympic Peninsula, our next destination for the night at the Wallaby Campground. Arriving at sunset left no time for hiking, but we enjoyed the sunset on the lake. Next morning, we had to get up early to catch a 9 a.m. ferry from Port Angeles to Victoria, Canada. Luckily, the traffic was moving and we made it in time for the ferry. A sunny day on the water was a more enjoyable way to reach Victoria than driving. Upon arrival in Victoria, our plan was first to check in at our campground in Bumberton Provincial Park, about a 30 minutes drive north on Highway 1. Once we set up at the campsite, we had time for a hike at Goldstream Provincial Park, about 20 minutes drive on Highway 1 South. We hiked a trail to Mount Finlayson that meandered through low elevations covered with redwoods and opened to a rocky trail closer to the top. From the mountain's peak, we saw a landscape quickly being developed into resorts, golf courses, and private housing, with the ocean looming in the distance. This hike was a good workout, and we had an interesting chat with other hikers on the trail. Upon returning to our campsite, we still had time before sunset and went to the beach via a trail from the campground for a quick look. The next morning promised sunshine, so we chose to explore the southwestern coast of the island by driving on British Columbia Highway 14 toward Port Renfrew. To our delight, the road was almost free of cars, and we looked forward to seeing the shore. Unfortunately, to reach the coastal destinations, we would have had to take long side roads to get closer to the water and then hike to see the sites mentioned in tourist brochures and online. We didn't have enough time for the detours and continued driving to visit Port Renfrew. We found Port Renfrew to be a little sleepy town with very little to see or do, at least in terms of experience in nature. 
After a quick drive by, we headed back to our Bumberton campground via Pacific Marine Road towards Lake Howichan. This was a peaceful mountainous drive with virtually no traffic. But be prepared to have at least 50 miles of fuel in the tank as there are no signs of civilization between Port Renfrew and Lake Cowichan. Back at the campsite, we cooked a quick meal before the rain. It was great to find a dry, warm and secure place to sleep in our van as we needed rest to continue our adventure the next morning. We stayed an extra day at Bumberton Campground to explore Victoria, a historic port town popular with tourists. Victoria is not a big city, and almost all of its attractions are along the waterfront, where we spent time that day. We did a long hike on the trail along the waterfront and around Beacon Hill Park neighborhoods. About three and a half hours drive on the Highway 1 the following morning brought us to our next destination, Miracle Beach Provincial Park and Campground. Skip the Bumberton Campground and stay at Miracle Beach as it is a much superior campground in terms of natural settings and facilities. Our campsite was perfect with plenty of space and privacy and the beach was a short walk away with hiking and bike trails directly accessible from the campground. We enjoyed our three days at that place. Next, and the main destination of this trip, was Great Point Campground on the west coast of Vancouver Island off Highway 4 between Euclid and Tafino. It took us four hours to get there. The traffic was heavy because this part of island has many popular destinations. Once we arrived at the campsite, however, all the stress of driving was paid off by the unique setting of this campground. Perched on the wooded ocean cliffs, this campground has it all. Quick access to touristy attractions in Tafina and Euclid, if that's what you fancy, and a variety of hikes along the ocean and the nearby forest. The facilities at this campground are on the par with five-star hotels and everything is well maintained and kept clean. We spent three days at this campground and enjoyed it immensely. We did two hikes a day, in the mornings and the afternoons, every day we were there and had a great time. I'm sure we've seen just a speck of what Vancouver Island has to offer, but it was time to start traveling back home. By getting up early, we beat the traffic on our way to Victoria and took the ferry back to Port Angeles. By midday, we were on the fastest route south towards Oregon. At sunset, we stopped for the night at Champouy State Park, one of our favorite campgrounds in Oregon. After a quick meal, we slept with the rain pelleting outside. One more day of driving. Changing drivers every hour and a half got us home in California the next evening. We remember this trip fondly and are glad that we did it. Camping for us is about experiencing nature in a direct and private way. This means taking long hikes that leave behind the crowds and commercial aspects of nature tourism. When we compared our camping and hiking experiences in the Pacific Northwest of the US with this trip to Vancouver Island in Canada, we concluded that Pacific Northwest region in the US has a much greater variety of natural settings and uniqueness of camping opportunities than what we found on Vancouver Island. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and interesting. Thank you for watching. Happy camping. Cheers.